We are at Dwayne Reed Gallery located in the Central West End and we have several exciting shows currently running. In the front gallery we have Tom Lang and Ethan Meyer and in the second gallery we have an exciting show called Introductions and New Work by gallery artists. Tom Lang is the former chair of the art department at Webster University and someone I have known for over 30 years. We are excited to show his work. He is well controlled and well curated and experienced in drawing together shapes and colors in a way that is it painting, is it print, is it collage work. It's hard to know unless you explore it. I call them aesthetically suspicious objects. And one of my favorite questions that people ask about them is, what are these? Are they silk screens? Are they paintings? Are they prints? Or what, what are they? And I say, yes, that's exactly right. Uh, what are they? And um, I like that kind of riddle that's there. They generally start out uh, and run through a variety of technical steps as well unpredictable but layered in process. So they include printing, photography and scanning, photomechanical processes, uh, and then lastly drawing. When you're working and you're also a professor of art, you're very careful to not break the rules that you've given to the students or you're kind of uh, cautious about that and wary of the fact that you might be doing something that you tell them not to do. And as soon as I retired from teaching, I gained a kind of freedom to not worry about that anymore. <laughs> and it's like, no more rules. There's a great sense of freedom to do whatever I want to do. Ethan Meyer is an emerging artist that I've been watching for several years now. Ethan's paintings are very much about jumping into a canvas where you see a continual uh, line that keeps circulating or moving within the color, almost a trance-like situation. It's almost like a hypnotic or meditative state where there's so much activity on the surface of each work that it's oh, kind of overwhelming for the viewer and that this can be something that's uh, you know, disorienting or off-putting, but more often people can kind of just be lulled into a state of open awareness when viewing the works. Almost like an Alice in Wonderland rabbit hole kind of scenario in which you've fallen into this space that's novel and unfamiliar and you're just in a constant state of discovering and uh, just kind of seeing where it takes you throughout all the body of work and all the different materials, I'm really chasing after the same sort of aesthetic interest, which is really activating and imbuing the surface or the material with dense, intricate patterns that you can really explore endlessly, seeing things you didn't see before, finding new little elements of the work kind of hidden in there, and really disguised or camouflaged that encourages people to really spend time with each individual piece. In the second gallery, we have a very interesting show that actually occurred because of the art fairs canceling or postponing this year. And we participate in numerous ones. And so that gave us an opportunity to bring together the work of artists that have been preparing for those shows for quite some time. So we have in the second gallery, introductions and new work. And the introductions, of course, are new artists that we were going to present at the fairs and then here in the gallery that now you're able to see the work here and not have to travel to see it. And then new work by established gallery artists that were preparing for up to a year or longer to participate in a major art fair in the country. And so it's really exciting for us and shows what we can do and the extent of what our artists are all about. These exhibitions run through November 27th, and for more information, you can visit us at our website, DwayneReedGallery.com, or drop in in person. <laughs>